So earlier we talked about how I have been working to put together what would be termed a shaker style door. And originally what I tried was uh, this joint without more than tennis joint. But we ended up with some really nice stuff. So every single board, rail styles, which are the side and the top, get the same groove, we put some plywood in the middle of it. So you can see here, originally I thought, boy, this would be a great idea. I'm gonna set this up on top of these trash cans. I'm gonna be able to lay all this out. And then as I started kind of working on this, I realized it wasn't gonna be a good idea. What I was trying to do was I was taking this piece of plywood here and I was trying to figure out what were my dimensions going to be. What it turned out uh, is the dimensions were 24 inches and so the length of this piece of plywood is 48 inches which worked out really really well. I was able to chop that basically in half and then I also believe the other dimension was 27 inches. So I'm working to put together my circular saw here. I've got this set up here which is it's not going to work and I'm figuring that out as I put things together. How am I going to how am I going to get around? How am I going to be able to move that circular saw? And I'm learning that <laughs> as we're going through it. So what I basically ended up doing is taking it, putting it down on this tote, moving the camera over there so that we have a much better view of what's actually going on. And there you have it. So I've already got my line set up and I've got my circular saw set up so that it's only cutting probably just barely through the material which allows me to kind of work through the rest of it and voila so the next thing that I'm doing is obviously measuring that right in the middle which is 24 inches the full width of a piece of plywood typically any stock whether it's sheetrock whether it's plywood it's two foot by four foot four foot by eight foot I apologize so what we're doing is we're taking that eight foot section, we're breaking that into two. So we get a 27 by 24 inch piece of plywood. So now I'm taking the rails and the styles each side and thinking about, I mean, this it's been a while since I put together one of these doors, probably two, three months. And I probably stare at this a lot longer than I should, but I come to the ultimate realization that I need to put Styles on first and the rails on later. And I realized that they're going to be inset approximately the amount that the depth is of the data. So, for example, in this case, that's about a half inch. So I'm going through and I'm marking half inch marks all the way around the board. Then I'm setting that on the half inch mark, making sure that I don't have any issues. I had a little bit of obstruction. So rather than hitting the actual piece of wood, I'm using a, a scrap, and that's absorbing most of the damage. But you can see that that pound's on there, and I want it full depth. So I'm going to put the other one on the other side next, and again, we're starting from the right to the left, and working that down so it's nice and square. So then, once I've got that, and I know that it's centered, I can take my other pieces, my styles, these are my rails and these are my stuff. And I can do the same thing on those joints. <clears throat> you can see I've knocked that off there, but the, the joints actually work out pretty well in the corners. Because the next step then is to take that Morton tennis joint and fill that gap up. Earlier you saw in one of the earlier videos where we're taking these pieces and I cut those that what that does is that gives that a piece of uh, traction or material between both of the pieces. But you know, afterwards, once I got all this set up, I was able to square all the edges up, pound in a few more of those scabs. And then I also took my coping saw, and you can see there's a little bit of scab on the right hand side there. Took that, ripped it down, and came up with a beautiful door. So the next thing then is just basically to set that thing up and 
get some hinges on it and get it ready to go. You can see a couple here in this picture to the right hand side where I've already put hinges on them. They look beautiful, looking forward to doing more.